very good morning everyone hmm morning at this point of time yes for me morning means one more inning and i am saying very good morning to all of you to wish you luck for one more inning to play and win hope you guys rock in your exams and in your future too i am srishti from decipherias.com last time we talked of sectors and types of economy today we will pick up an introduction of one tricky topics of the economics that is national income though it is tricky but we will make it very easy for you to understand the same see as we know the income of a single person can be measured similarly it can be measured for the nation and it can also be measured for the whole world although the method of calculating may be little bit complex in the latter case but it can be measured there are four ideas or we can say uh, four ways to calculate the income of the nation which are the subject matter of the national income accounting there are four ways to look upon income of an economy although they are different from each other in the some way or the other these are gross domestic product net domestic product gross national product and net national product we can say gdp ndp gnp and nnp all are form of the national income but are different from each other they all say a different story about the income of a nation in their own specific way here we discuss them in very objective way before starting this i would like to bring to your notice that for videos on any other subjects please ask us and considering the demand of students we will ask our team to fulfill those we will try our level best to help you out in every ways to the extent possible let's start with gross domestic product or gdp gross domestic product gdp is the value of all the final goods and services produced within the boundary of the nation during one year say for example uh, this one year is a calendar year from 1st april to 31st march let's understand the same word by word gross gross means the same thing to economics as as uh, total means to mathematics domestic domestic means inside the boundary of the nation or the country and by its own capital product product is word to define goods and services all together and last comes the final final means the stage of product after which there is no change or value addition in it or we can say simply that goods and services which are ready for the consumption of consumers so after understanding the word gross domestic product let's see the different uses of concept of gdp it shows us the per annum percentage change in the growth rate of economy for example if the country has a gdp of rupees 100 last year and has a gdp of rupees 107 this year or rupees 90 this year which is either 7 rupees higher than the last year or 10 rupees lesser than the last year then we can say it has a growth rate of 7% this year or it its growth has fallen by 10% when we use the term a growing economy it means that the economy is adding up to its income in quantitative terms it is a qualitative concept and its volume size internal is volume or size indicates the internal strength of the economy but it does not say anything about the qualitative aspects of the produced goods and services of the economy it is used by the international monetary fund imf world bank wb in the comparative analysis of its member nations the next one is net domestic product or ndp net domestic product that is ndp is the gross domestic product or gdp calculated after adjusting the weight of the value of depreciation this is basically net form of gross domestic product that is gdp minus 
total value of the wear and tear that is depreciation that happened in the assets while the goods and services were being produced. See, for example, formula can be gross minus depreciation is equals to net. In other form, gross minus net is equals to depreciation or we can say gross is equals to net plus depreciation. See, every asset go for the depreciation in the process of their uses, which means they wear and tear. The governments of the economies decide and announce the rates by which assets depreciate. As in India, it is done by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and a list is published, which is used by the different sections of economy to determine the real levels of depreciations in different assets. Thus, NDP is equals to GDP minus depreciation. See, for example, a residential house in India has a rate of 1% of per annum depreciation. An electric fan has 10% per annum, etc. Calculated in the terms of assets price. This is one way of the depreciation is used in economics. This way, NDP of an economy has to be always lower than its GDP for the same year since there is no way to cut the depreciation to zero. But mankind has achieved too much in this area by the development such as ball bearings, lubricants, etc. All innovated to minimize the level of depreciation. After understanding the concept, now let's move to the different uses of net concept of net domestic product or NDP for domestic use only to understand the historical situation of loss due to depreciation to the economy it is also used to understand and analyze the sectoral situation of depreciation in industry and trade in comparative periods and then also used to show the achievements of economy in the area of research and development which have tried cutting the levels of depreciation in a historical time period. However, NDP is not used in comparative economies to compare the economies of the world just because different rates of depreciation which is set by different economies of the world. Rates of depreciation may be based on logic as it, in, as it is in the case of uh, houses in India we see the cement bricks sands iron ro rods which are used to build houses in India can sustain it for coming hundred years thus the rate of depreciation is fixed at 1% per annum but it may not be based on logic all the times for example up to February 2000 the rate of depreciation for heavy vehicles those are vehicles with uh, six wheels and above was 20% while it was done 40% afterwards just to boost the sale of vehicles. So there was no logic in doubling the rate. Basically depreciation and its rates are used by the modern governments as a tool of economic policy making also which is third way how depreciation is used in economics. So we discussed GDP and NDP today and uh, I hope uh, you must have enjoyed this session. Thank you for watching. My next session will be based on GNP, Gross National Product and NNP, Net National Product. Please do comment in the comment box. Subscribe us, like us and share us on Facebook. For many more things, please visit our website decipherize.com and for any query related to subjects or suggestions for further improvement, you may also write to us. Till the next session, enjoy, take care and bye-bye.